Doug Harris is doing something very unique. He not only produced the recent documentary that debuted and premiered this week, but he's actually shooting our show this morning with his uh, video because he always travels with the video. I guess that's the way to fly. So it's KGO Radio doing video, doing radio. children how to hate. We turn children into soldiers to fight our wars. We would like to use this concept of promoting peace through sports with all of our young people throughout the world. And it's going to take the efforts of many of the NGOs and other organizations from around the world to help us to do this. And we feel that if the athletes take a positive stance towards promote peace, we think that we can have a, a big influence on our young people. The one arena that demonstrates to all of us that we can all work together, thrive together, compete against each other was in sports. Because the diversity proves to people that black and white can work together. And uh, to me, this is the very essence of what we need in our society. They started talking about cutting out arts and entertainment and sports and stuff in the schools. And when you think about it, these same people that's having this stuff cut out, what did they do when they went to school? We know from all of the national studies that that time between 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 6 or 7 o'clock at night is in fact the most dangerous time for young people either to get in trouble or to become the victims of trouble. We also know that if we provide organized activities, recreation, mentoring opportunities, schoolwork, homework facilities, the children will, will take advantage of them and they will in fact stay out of trouble. A part of the deal, a part of the glamour, a part of your responsibility is to give something back. One of the, the lines in my favorite song says, a people without a knowledge of their history is like a tree without roots. And if you don't know where you came from, how are you going to get to where you're going? In the social revolution of the 60s, history became nothing. Nobody wants to know about the past. The past doesn't count. Now it's different. Well, I think the past counts very much. You know, who's to tell you what has happened? Even the civil rights movement. How many, how many people know about the civil rights movement in this country? You know, the Martin Luther Kings and the, the, you know, the Tommy Smiths and the John Carloses and, and, and all the people who put themselves on the line to change things. And in a world where so much of the time we're taught to really, you know, knock down the person next to you and that's the only way you can succeed, in reality finding out that you can be part of a team or part of a network of supportive individuals is the way that you're going to move forward. And you can enjoy life as you do the things that you want to do because if you find pleasure in it, other people are going to find pleasure in it too.